This week, we install our shower, pay a visit to Benoit, and find my grandfather's original plans for the chateau. The last video, we were able to fill this corner here, which... Was just a test. Yeah, it was, it was supposed to be a test to see if this would match and how well it would hold up. And it totally passed. And this corner there, um, I'm very, very proud of. Are you proud of it? Yeah, it looks better than the rest that were <laughs> original, in my opinion. Because that worked so well, we went and got more steel rods and we're going to continue working on this wall because it's it's pretty bad it needs some help especially this wall because that one had ivy growing into it and it's eaten away like the whole face of that tile stone that's a stone right this is stone this is not tile. <laughs> i've been cutting tile all week <laughs> This is like my one break to get out of the bathroom is to like come work on this. This portion here is probably the worst out of it because like, look at this. It's just coming off in chunks. Yeah, that's usually not a good thing. No, it's a little scary. Last time we did this, you were talking about how we have basically a sand castle. <laughs> <laughs> looks so much better than before. Not bad, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's not perfect, but some of these... But that's almost what makes it better is that it doesn't look perfect. Yeah, I mean, you don't want it to look perfect, but I know some of these stones actually shifted a little bit, and so we would have to like grind away at the stone itself to create a fully level face, and that's not an option. Mm -hmm. So. Definitely a solid improvement. Yeah. Good. Your little girl. sphinx. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. We got a sphinx. Good girl. Stay. Stay. This week, we've been spending quite a bit of time at the mayor's office and speaking to the architect of the buildings of France, trying to get things approved for our future plans. And while I was rummaging through our paperwork, I found some old plans that my grandpa had put together for some of the projects that he had seen for the place. Um, that had unfortunately gotten refused by the mayor's office. His big idea was to create a big club med of sorts with like a golf course and tennis courts, like equestrian walkways. And here we actually have the plan that he had set up to create that. They had a pony club and then tennis courts and then a whole indoor complex with a pool, a hotel space, and I'm not sure what was here. The ironic part is that in the land, or with the land that he sold off, the people who purchased it took his ideas and those were passed by the mairie. So on the other side of the freeway, you can literally go and play tennis. There's a pool, there's indoor racquetball, 
And just down the way at the old abbey of the chateau, there is now a huge golf course. I had heard of the difficulties my grandfather had to go through trying to get all of these plans uh, submitted to the mayor's office and how disappointed he was when he wasn't able to do it. And I would say that we are starting to feel some of that pain right now as we're trying to submit ideas for plans. We have not been successful yet, but we are gonna keep trying. And I just love that we found these old plans of my grandfather's. They were great, he had great ideas. <laughs> Since our initial plans for the Hunter's Lodge were denied, we decided to visit Benoit and discuss our options. Alors, t'as vu mon père Yann, comment euh, toutes les machines sont arrivées, ça y est? Ça y est. Enfin Et c'est quoi ça Alors ça c'est pour la fille à Vincent. Et euh, je fais, ça m'arrive de faire des jouets ou des trucs comme ça, c'est pour mes petits-enfants. Oh c'est mignon. Donc de temps en temps, oh, tu pourrais pas faire quelque chose Moi j'ai dit ouais on peut. D'ailleurs, à propos de l'escalier, est-ce que tu as réfléchi comment on le fait alors Alors moi j'ai rendez-vous avec lui, parce qu'en fait notre dossier il était refusé. Couvert lui, par le château et l'église. Non, juste l'église. Même juste pas par le château Même pas par le château. Mais c'est quoi ce... Je veux une petite balcon assez grand pour deux personnes qui s'assoient avec... face au château. D'accord, donc là, il faut voir si les saillies de toit, on peut les, les couper. Benoît et moi discussed nos options moving forward, mais les frustrations avec les building permits sont juste un autre hurdle pour nos rénovations. Sur la bright side, il se trouve que Benoît est un mushroom hunter dans son off time. Si vous avez euh, une méthode il n'y a pas de méthode. Alors, il n'y a pas de méthode pour le champignon. Tu sais, le champignon, c'est tu as une grosse source de chaleur, telle que là, on a eu, c'est bon, je crois qu'on a eu une autre dose. Là, on est en taux d'humidité. On va avoir de la pluie, tout ça. Donc là, ça va mouiller. Donc les champignons, là, ils vont pousser. Donc là, il n'y a, a, a pas un truc précis. Alors, si tu vas sur le N et le être, tu vas trouver plus facilement des girolles, tu vas plus facilement des trous. Normalement, les pharmaciens sont là pour te dire ton champignon, il est bon, il est bon, il n'est pas bon, il n'est pas bon. Ça veut dire que normalement, quand as, tu dois avoir deux paniers. Quand tu te balades, tu as un panier où tu es sûr que tes champignons ils sont bons, tu les mets dedans. Mmh. Ceux où tu n'es pas sûr, tu les mélanges. Mmh. Parce qu'il ne faut pas mélanger les deux sortes de champignons. Mmh. Ça, c'est primordial, déjà pour commencer. Et déjà, le pharmacien, il va te dire non, je, ben, c'est pas bon, c'est pas bon, c'est pas bon. Il va te les garder. Toi, tu ne repars pas avec. Alors, tu te dis, ils sont vraiment pas bons ou il, 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 voilà, il a pas eu le temps d'aller les chercher, on s'en fout, on va les chercher pour lui. C'est pas vrai. Et, puis euh, franchement, des, des bons champignons. Euh... Ah ouais, parce que des champignons bien, euh, bien cuits, tendres, euh, à la poêle avec des petits oignons. Ah c'est un ouais. petit délice, ça. On est bien d'accord. Oh, 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 oh. On est bien d'accord. Une viande grillée et tout. Oh là 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 <rire> <rire> Benoit installed this beautiful countertop for us and we just need to do a little bit of a finishing touch and we're gonna go up to 320 grit so that it's nice and smooth and there's no snags for anyone's clothing and then we're gonna put this oil from Blanchon on it that Benoit recommended. The weird thing is there is no ingredient here that is like actually readable so oil for floors is what it's called water resistant and you can clean it easily. So we're gonna go for that.
So Christophe just came and installed our faucet and our sink and now it works! And we were hoping to install the mirror at the same time but when we pulled it out of the package it was totally cracked so we have to order a new one but we will install that, well order it, receive it, install it soon and in the meantime we are going to finish the shower. All right, so we are being extra careful in preparing the green tile cuts because they're very fragile and they take several different runs for each cut. And I found that out after about 40 minutes of cutting halfway down the first. And then I was midway cutting the length and it cracked like right at the very end. So we're not gonna do that again we got some clamps and a very fancy um, duct tape rig right there. You wanna go first? Let's do it. Okay. So I'm uh, extra scared of this piece because this is where the two shower nozzles come in. And this happens to be a really beautiful piece. Would be a shame if it broke. <laughs> Pushing right now. <laughs> you just. Why are you so out of breath? Look at that. That's pretty good. Why am I so out of breath? Okay. So you'll notice that this tile was cut all the way to the edge instead of just where the niche is. And that's not because I didn't try. Um, I tried a couple times. And how expensive are these tiles? Wow. That's my finger, okay. <laughs> you got your spacer? Okay. Okay. We've got a beautiful shower that's waiting to be installed. And we have a toilet. Toto toilet just ready to be plugged in and the sink? tested. <laughs> Definitely tested. Not by me. And then Why sink not? is good to go. You're not gonna test out the Toto toilet? I mean, I will eventually. Let us know in the comments below. No. Nope. <laughs> you should nope. test out the Toto toilet. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. And if you'd like to support us and get exclusive content, join us on Patreon. Because we're in proximity of the church and it has nothing to do with the fact that the ch chateau is actually a historical building, ironically. That would have been good if he caused the shit. I know. <laughs>